Hey everybody, so today we're going to look at 3D topology for the absolute beginner. I'm going to cover three key points. Number one, what is topology? Number two, the difference between good and bad topology. And finally, number three, when does good topology actually matter? First, let's define topology. A 3D model is a collection of vertices, edges, and faces that defines a shape. The layout of the vertices, edges, and faces is called a wireframe. More specifically, the layout of the wireframe is the topology. There are different types of topology. Polygons typically have three, four, or five sides. A three-sided polygon is called a tri, like triangle. A four-sided polygon is called a quad, like quadrilateral. A five or more sided polygon is called an n-gon. All of those types of polygons can be used to make up a model's topology. However, Quads tend to give the best results, as the other types of polys can result in pinching. If you need to use tri or an n-gon, it's best to use them on a flat surface to avoid pinching. It's also important to keep in mind the shape of your model when planning out your topology. You'll want the topology to flow around curves. Now let's take a look at good topology and bad topology. Can you tell which model has the better topology? An example one. Notice how the topology doesn't follow the contours of the mouth and eyes. This will lead to animation problems later. Notice here in example two, the polygons flow around the major facial features of the model. These edge loops not only support the shape of the model better, they allow for great deformation during animation. Over time, you'll be able to better identify which models have good topology and which don't. Good topology can take a lot of time to master. It's okay to look up references online for tricky spots. So is it ever okay not to worry about good topology? There are times when good topology is not always needed. However, I do believe as a beginner, you should use good topology just to master the skill. Now we're going to look at some times when you do and don't need to use good topology. See this tank sculpted in ZBrush? Now look at the topology. It's pretty messy. The bad topology does work for this model though. It doesn't animate, it's a stationary object, and it doesn't use subdivision. To counter this, you'll want to use good topology for subdivided models and any models that you'll animate. Here are a few tips for creating good topology. Avoid using tries and eggons. They don't subdivise well and they can cause pinching. If you see pinching on the surface of your model, try to change the flow of your topology. Remember to add extra edge loops in areas that will deform during animation. This will support the deformation. In conclusion, what you'll find is that the topology requirements for a project will vary from project to project. If the model will deform, for example, facial animation, you will need good topology. If the model is stationary, then the topology probably doesn't matter as much. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not advocating for the use of bad topology. I do believe that in order to be a successful 3D modeler, you should learn how to create good topology. However, if a model doesn't deform and is, for example, a background prop, it may not be worth the time and effort to retopologize. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.